Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to read you this story called Bike On, Bear. It's about not giving up and knowing that sometimes when we least expect it, we can do something that we thought we couldn't. Bear looks pretty happy, doesn't he? Riding along, glad to see he has his helmet on. So do all his friends. Bike on Bear. For Clara, believe in yourself and when you don't think you can, surround yourself with people who do. That's a wonderful inscription, isn't it? Bear was no ordinary cub. He was brainier than a monkey and more flexible than a python and more helpful than a brigade of beavers. But Bear had a very hairy problem. He couldn't ride a bike. Looks like, oh, well, Bear's got training wheels on there, but it looks like none of his friends do. They're all riding along. Have you ever seen a bicycle built for three people? Or in this case, three little pigs? Not even with training wheels. Oh, he crashed into the trash. Not even with daddy pushing him along. I'm gonna let go now, ready? Crash. Not even with 10 of his best friends helping. Pedal, bear, pedal. Brakes, bear, brakes. <sighs> Crash. The situation was unbearable. But then it got worse. A brand new park opened. Bear read the sign. Fly your kites. I see somebody doing that. Picnic in the park. That looks like fun. Ride your bikes on our bike path. Looks like some of Bear's friends are doing that, but then the sign says no training wheels allowed. Bike path said his friends, all right. Bear gulped. Bear was desperate. He wanted to ride with his buddies. His mother gave him a big bear hug. Try the library, dear. She suggested, you can learn anything there. So it looks like Bear's off to the library. There's bikes everywhere, aren't there? Eureka, he found a book that says, learn to ride a bike in four days. On day one, get to know your bike. On day two, Practice your balance. I think day three and four are the most important. On day three, believe in yourself. And day four, don't think about it too much. Sometimes when we worry about things too much, we just can't do them. Our brain takes over. On day one, Bear studied his bike from end to end. The wheels, check. Handlebars, check. Brakes, check. Bell, ding. I have a bike, but it doesn't have a bell on it. I think I like that idea. I might get one. Next, he ran some scientific calculations. Bear was ready. He got on, hop, and he fell over. Oh, maybe you'll get it next time, buddy. 
His friends are very encouraging, aren't they? That helps. That evening, Bear went to a science fair. While he presented his project, he wondered what had gone wrong with the bike that day. Hadn't he studied every part? Analyzed everything? Was he just not smart enough? I don't think that's the case. It looks as if the project that Bear was just presenting on salmon migration won first prize. Everybody's clapping for him, but he can't stop thinking about the bike. On day two, Bear practiced his balance. He carefully placed a glass of water on his head and got on the bike. He put one foot on the pedal and then the other. He fell over, splash, bear gird. Just keep trying, champ. There's another encouraging friend, isn't that nice? That evening, bear went to a gymnastics meet. As he tiptoed across the beam, he wondered what had gone wrong with the bike this time. Why was balancing so hard? Bear did a backward pike somersault. The crowd cheered. Bear's really good at lots of things, isn't he? On day three, Bear believed in himself. I can do this, he said. He imagined himself riding a bike. He stuck notes to his bathroom mirror and he even dressed for the part. I'm trying to see what the notes on the bathroom mirror say, but I can't read them. He got on his bike and he fell over and he ripped his pants. That evening, Bear didn't believe in, in himself at all. His science project exploded. His triple back paw spring was a disaster. And he couldn't even help out a fellow bear. I don't know how to put the chair back together again, you guys. I give up. It doesn't sound like bear, does it? The next day, Bear trudged toward the library to return the book. Suddenly, someone shouted from the park. Help, help, my kid is getting carried away. Oh, see the little goat, you guys? The, the kite is taking him up into the sky. I guess the wind was really strong. Bear ran some calculations. Distance, height, wind speed, there wasn't much time. He spotted a bike nearby. Wheels, check, handlebars, check, brakes, check, ding. He jumped on and blasted off. And most importantly, he didn't think about it too much. Bear tiptoed onto the seat, launched into a triple back paw spring and nabbed the kid. Hooray, Bear, that was some riding. Bear blushed. His friends are all there cheering him on. The raccoon friend is saying, you did it. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Bear was no ordinary cub. In fact, Bear could do practically anything. Bike on, Bear. It looks as if Bear received some kind of commendation from a town official for saving that kid. And he didn't think that he would have been able to do it. Pretty amazing. Whoop. <laughs> swim, Bear, swim. Seems like Bear's next challenge is to learn how to swim. <laughs> the end.
I hope you guys liked that story as much as I did. Lots of things about it I loved. One was that Bear tried every way that he could to learn to ride the bike. It took a lot for him to give up. His friends were so encouraging. They kept telling him that he could do it and, and wanted him to keep trying. And then when Bear least expected it and didn't think too much about it, and he needed to save the kid, he hopped right on that bike. I think he was probably really happy that he was able to do that, not only to save the kid, but to show himself that he could really do it. That was fun. So come back soon so I can read to you again. Maybe there's a story out there about bear learning to swim. I'm not sure, but I'm going to look. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. <laughs>